everyone is waiting, waiting on you and you got Good morning, Eagles. I'm Lily Verdugo. I'm Esteban Rochiniego. And we're signing in for G E N. Hey, so I heard you were leader for breaking down the walls. Yeah, some of you were even in my group. Oh, really? Like who? I don't know. I forgot. Oh, okay. Well, let's take a look at the footage to jog your memory. Okay, dokie. How much are you willing to trust complete strangers? Breaking Down the Walls is a program with the aim to unify complete strangers in a campus, and from November 8th to the 11th, they came by to share their message. With activities that involve getting to know complete strangers that students wouldn't talk to otherwise, to sharing personal experiences that happen throughout their lives, Breaking Down the Walls shows students happy and sad side. Sophomore Alyssa Mulvihill is no stranger to Breaking Down the Walls, but felt the difference between this year's Breaking Down the Walls and last year's. I did this twice now. Since I'm a sophomore, I did my freshman year, and I just love it. <laughs> It's very emotional, and some people are too strong to let their emotions out. So I'd rather recommend people to do this to make their emotions come out and let everything be. Breaking Down the Walls had activities that helped students get to know each other, but they also had games to bring students out of their comfort zone. Sophomore Edna Escobedo reminisced her early years as she participated in games, especially one that involved running through a jump rope with complete strangers. Our favorite part about Breaking Down the Walls was when we did the jump rope activity with the train and just made sure that we just never gave up, even though we had to start all over constantly. It brought us back to our childhood memories where we just never gave up and that's kind of what we need now. Well, besides the fact that we never gave up and even though like we had no idea who these people were, we just held on to our hands and we're like, let's do this. So we just ran through and like in the end of the day, we just, we did it. As the walls came tumbling down, students had a chance to interact and become closer to those students they didn't even know existed. Through Mary's joy and depressing sadness, breaking down the walls left a memory in their minds that they'd never forget. I'm Adrian Pacheco, reporting for GEN. Do you know about the veterans of the past, present, and future? The Veterans Day Parade was on November 11 in downtown Palm Springs. Members of all different branches of the military attended to celebrate their years in service. Palm Springs Air Force Cadet Cassandra Martinez attended the parade for another year. It, it means a great deal to me because as an as uh, for some, someone who aspires to join the Air Force one day, it means that you know not all of our sacrifices are taken for granted and that we are truly appreciated among them. Most of my experiences in, in the parades have been like really, they, they've been fun, like I've had fun. Then I, I get to march with my, my family. There were many reasons why people attended from wanting to be a veteran to the United of Veterans to celebrate their service. Gary Cooper attended the parade after many years of service in the military. Well, every year it's great for me. I'm a grandfather. So both my grandsons, one age 15, is in the marching band, and my 16-year-old grandson is in the ROTC. So I get to see them in this parade. Americans, uh, you know, we just need to pull together. This is a fine day to celebrate, but it's a fine day to celebrate just America. This year's Veterans Parade was a day to remember. I'm Senior Rodriguez reporting from downtown Palm Springs. Ooh, I can't wait for Thanksgiving dinner. I'm starving. Yes, yeah, son. Happy Thanksgiving. In all my days, I've never had such a horrible Thanksgiving. Just wait till I... Thank you. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving break on November 24th. Hey, did you go to the alumni game? The alumni game? The alumni game. That's fine. It's pronounced alumni. I will search up on my phone. No, no, no. There's no need for you to do that. Let's just take a look at how the alumni game went. I'm still correct. Let's bring back memories. The Golden Eagles boys soccer team went up against alumni players and came out victorious with a score of 5-4 in penalties on November 10th at our home field. This is sophomore Ezekiel Monero's second year on varsity and played alongside with his brothers, one of them being an alumni player. The most exciting part 
of tonight's game was when I scored and made it equal 4-4 because without that equalizer, we wouldn't have gotten a PKs and took that W. The game was even with both teams scoring four goals each up until the match went to penalties to decide the winner. Alumni player Noe Granillo was a former varsity player last year. While shooting penalty kicks, Granillo's was the only one blocked leading to the Eagles' victory. This year's team actually, they got a really solid squad. Um, I'm actually looking forward to come out and watch these guys play. Um, they got a really solid team and um, hopefully they take advantage of the players they got and you know, hopefully make it far in CIF and rep. The Golden Eagles soccer boys won against the alumni players during the penalty kicks. Come out during the season to support them. I'm Nora Duenas reporting for GEN. Winter is coming, but for most of your athletes, it's the beginning of their season. Introducing boys and girls wrestling and basketball. Eduardo Ceseña, one of your varsity wrestlers, really wished that he had some advice when he started off wrestling sophomore year. The advice I wish people would give me before I started wrestling was to always work hard, stay conditioned, and never reach back. From an old athlete to a new one, they all have one thing in common, and that is the determination to win and to have a good season. With Scarlett Fuerte being new to your DHSH's girls basketball team, it's a way for her to get physical and a way to get stuff off her mind. It was a, an outlet for me with family issues of my own at home, so I found basketball as something I could express myself in another way. It's about to begin. Don't forget to attend the games this winter season. I'm Angela Macias reporting for GEN. Oh, I need help with my Spanish homework. Did you say help? I can help you get tutoring. What? Who are you? I'm the tutoring wizard and I can help you get help. What? When? Well, you fell over here, okay? Wow. Well, you can get bilingual tutoring Monday to Friday, room 266. With Miss Rios, yes! For more tutoring information, please pay attention to the morning announcements or ask your teachers. Well, this has been it for your GEM broadcast today. I can't wait for Thanksgiving break. Oh yeah, well, it's the last day of school before Thanksgiving break. Let's go! We still have three more periods. We do? Yeah, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just so excited. Well, this has been Lily Verdugo. And that's the one I Signing out for G. E. N. Do the cockatoo <laughs> <laughs>